And I just realized that the camera was recording. Dang it! Why, well, hello there, children of the night, and welcome back to another reaction video. T today, I'm going to be, or we're going to be continuing the Daughter of Discord series with episode three. Well, uh, episode three, a particular play date. <sighs> yeah. Now it's been quite a while since I, since I've re, since I've re bleh, 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 reacted to this series, and it's been a while, and it's even been a while since I've reacted to, to a fan animation, considering that I've been busy with my, my drawings. And, uh, and also I, like, uh, I went over just me, like, explaining, uh, explaining, uh, why I didn't, don't really like, uh, Ap I didn't like Applejack's character in Bride of Discord, but, and then, I thought it over, and I just, I thought, <coughs> yeah, I think I'll do, Nah, and I thought, nah, I think I'll do a separate video on, on it. So, it's not, it's not out yet, but uh, I'll make it. Uh, I'll make it as soon as, I'll make, it, like, I'll make it one day, but uh, as soon as possible. I'll probably make it tomorrow or the day or the day after that. Uh, and once I do that, the that video will pretty much explain uh my th my thoughts, uh, my tr my personal thoughts on. Uh, on Applejack's character in Bride of Discord because, uh, yes, I uh, because in episode two reaction I don't in the episode two reaction I don't think I explained it, explained it explained it well enough it, and I th feel like I need to explain re explain myself. <laughs> so so once that uh, so once that video is done I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. <laughs> oh so you. So you can see what. So you can blah, 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 blah. so you can see my real thoughts on Applejack's my on Applejack's character and Bride of Discord, and all I'm saying is I'm probably gonna get really negative in that video. Just say just a heads up. But but anyway, enough of me stuttering and can't figuring out words. Let's do this. Also, expl I'll explain my uh, my bleh, other thoughts at the end. Let's do this. I'm daughter of Discord. My name's Screwball. My name's Lumpbox. Step away from my daughter! Discord. I was only fetching my son. He is the heir to my throne. You know her? Our paths have crossed a few times. For centuries, you have competed for the Christian's throne. I've been searching for his weakness until I assumed that creature to be as heartless as us. But now, he has something he cares about. I want you to find out everything you can about this screwball. She's just, just so nice. Do as I say! Or, or in short, uh, previously on Daughter of Discord, uh, Romeo and Juliet happened. Uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet happened. And now here's the episode. That's the best way I could describe it. I'm glad they kept their they shortened the intro because that was a problem in the original series as well. Because it's like for every episode the intro is the exact same long length. And I I actually thought I had to skip the intro for this because it was so long. But apparently not. Thanks, Dizzy Fanatic. Now who can tell me what 7 minus 5 is? No fair. I can't count yet. Shut up, Prism. Not so long Wait, that's a, that's Rainbow, that's another Ray, of Rainbow Nash's kids? Hey. I'm just saying, that kid, that kid looks exactly like Rainbow Dash. The only difference being is that her eyes are green. There'll be no talking in my class unless I call on you. She kind of seems to be abusing her power. One more word out of you, Cinnamon Roll, and you'll be sitting in the corner. Sorry, cuz. That's sorry, Miss Blossom, to you. Screwball! <laughs> are you paying attention? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm distracted today. What's up? 
Yeah, we thought you'd be happy now that you're not grounded anymore. You don't look so good, Scree. Did you eat some bad muffins for breakfast? No. I just have a few things on my mind. Well, get those things out of your mind. We got a lesson here. Cut the theatrics, Blossom. Can't you see Screwball's having a crisis here? Hmm. I think you're a great teacher. <laughs> you're so sweet, Thunder. <sighs> you smell nice. What was that? Uh, it, uh, nothing. Maybe she has low blood sugar. I made some rolls this morning. They have lots of sugar. We gave one to Dad, and his feet would just not stop moving. Just as cinnamon stick. <sighs> That'd be silly. Screw eats nothing but cotton candy and chocolate. She's never low on blood sugar. Yeah. Is she sick? No, that's even sillier. Screwball's the princess of chaos. She never gets sick. Yeah, don't be an idiot, Prism. You said another bad word. I'm telling. Idiot is not a bad word. Me just shut up. Yeah, a bad word would be. What kind of brother are you? Exactly. Sweet Thank you, Screwball. I was just about to say the exact same thing. Do you guys know what a changeling is? <gasps> What's a changeling? They're shapeshifters. They're evil. They're scary. And they take the forms of the ones you love. And they eat that love. Like spaghetti. Our mom battled those guys at Flutter by Lily's parents' wedding. They were tough. But our mom was victorious. Ahem. Yeah. Our parents were there too. So was Screwball's mom, Aunt Twilight, Aunt Rarity, and Nambiki. But mom said Prince Shining Armor and Princess Cadence defeated them in the end. Well, yeah, but mom fought them all hard with a rainbow rocket punch. Yeah, our mommy's awesome. Shut up, Prism. Hi, now. Why do you ask, Screwy? No reason. Hey, did I hear something about She's Cadence in love with one nice no, night wink wink. That's it, my son. Concentrate. Brilliant fruit fly transformation. <laughs> Why do, does he need to save to the real fly? That's not gonna get I get you anywhere. I mean, do I mean, do you see what? Uh, I mean, do you even know what happens to flies whenever they enter Pony's homes? <laughs> That's why. They get smacked with the fly swatter. I'm a miserable little brat. I can't wait to be the prince. I've served this hive longer than he has. Really, dude? Really, dudes? This guy is gonna be your, probably gonna be your future prince or king of the changelings, and you're bad mouthing your future prince slash or king? I'm oh, surpri I'm surprised Queen, 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 Queen Chrysalis doesn't really send them into dungeons. On the bright side, have to choose I mean, seriously, Chrysalis, that's a bad, that's a bad move. Ha! As if you would stand a chance. Hmm. Your chances are seem any better. Even though I don't like him, he picked me above you. It doesn't matter. We never needed a king, and we don't need one now. How come he gets his own room? Because he's going to be the future king. I'm nothing special. I'm not clever and ambitious like Mother. I just look different. I can't even have babies. Hmm. Mother did say I could choose a queen when I'm over there, but I don't know any girls. What about Screwball? I have a feeling it was kind of cute, though. Yeah. Uh, her swirly hair. Her lollipop eyes. Feel that? That's the feeling of love. What is wrong with me? She's just a stupid girl. <sighs> oh, who am I kidding? I can't stop thinking about her. I I've got to see her again. Yep. If I turn into a fruit fly... No one will see me. <laughs> but if you also if you turn into a fruit fly, you'll get smacked with a fly swatter. That's also what happens to fruit flies. Wow. I can see why my friends were so shaky when I brought up changelings. 
I hope I didn't scare you. No. But, Mom, do you really believe all changelings are heartless? I'm sure your father was just exaggerating. Yeah. Of course. Well, after that incident in Canada, I almost believe him. Then again, I thought your father was a heartless monster before I got to know him. Hypocrite. It just works for you, honey. After all, you are a special little girl. Well, that's what dads do. They always, that's they're always a little overprotective with their kids. It's a trope that we I was seen it I was started in Finding Nemo and it's been a trope ever since. Ooh, we got a little bit of animation there. told you a lot about changelings, huh? Well, my mother told me a lot about your parents. What about them? Well, for starters, she told me that your dad was one of the cows who took over Equestria two or three times. He's not like that anymore. Not since he met Mom. Yeah, she said that too. But how did that happen, anyway? My parents, you mean? Yeah. Don't take this the wrong way, but how did a pony fall in love with the evil spirit of chaos? It's a funny story, really. <coughs> the last time Daddy took over Equestria, he asked for a bride. They weren't ready for marriage yet. One long so story. Uh, one one, one man. One day. long explanation of Bride of Discord later. That's the most romantic thing I've ever heard. You know. But it's been done before in uh, one story. I just can't na figure out the name of it. <laughs> I think you prefer not to know me. So, what's your dad like? Oh, I don't exactly have a father. Oh, you never knew him? Sorry, I didn't know. No, no, it's not like that. The changeling race kind of works like a beehive. You know that every hive has a queen, right? Sure. Well, that's my mom. She gives birth to all the changelings. That's what I meant when I said I have 5,000 brothers and sisters. Wow. I always wondered what it was like not to be an only child. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to be an only child. Just because I have a lot of siblings doesn't mean we're one big happy family. Actually, most of them hate me. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a bit different from most changelings. Because you're a prince? Well, yeah. What I mean is, changelings don't usually look the way I do. They don't have hair or pupils, for example. They're more bug-like than pony-like. Yeah. When my mother saw that I was special, she went and made me heir to her throne. You're special? What? I'm completely I'm special, too! Oh, I didn't mean to brag. It's just a fact. I like this art style. It's very <laughs> cute. I've never met a half-pony, half, uh, nah. Draconica. Half Draconica. Dracula, Draconumbrous. Am I close? Good try. Anyway, your magic is really amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Please, you should see my dad. He can turn an entire orchard into an ice skating rink. 
Still, I bet if you look up the and he can also make, and he can also turn the roads into soap eh? help and turn buildings upside down and make them float. But that's another well, that's a completely different story. The only thing that makes me special is that I'm different. Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with being different. If that weren't the only reason I was prince. <gasps> Sorry. It just bugs me how every changeling envies me for being the queen's favorite. A position I neither Don't tell me that's a point. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that's a point because that's an worry, obvious joke. What you are doesn't label who you are. You're touching my heart. I'm the daughter of chaos. But that doesn't mean I'm going to take over Aquarius someday. I'm also the daughter of the element of kindness. That doesn't mean I'm this nice to every pony. Oh, I guess I'm a little bit of both. But I'm also me. Why are you so nice to me? Even now, when you know what I am. My parents taught me that no matter how frightening one may appear, every creature has a heart. Not changing this. So, is it true that you literally don't have a heart? Why do you think we feed off love? With nothing to keep our blood pumping, we need the love to survive. But we're incapable of feeling any of that love ourselves. I don't believe that. Stop touching me! What is it you want from me? I want to be your friend. Friend? Well, yeah. If that's okay with you, of course. <laughs> um, well, I, uh... Come on, hold hooves. Sure? Yay! Whoa, whoa! What, what are you doing? It's called a hug, silly! Hmm. Come on, you know you want to. Feel that? Um, That's the feeling of uh, love. You, uh, wanna swim? Um, uh, sure. Yeah, Come on in! The milk is great! You know, this friend thing could be fun. I'm sorry, I just gotta make this joke. Come on in, boys! The milk's fine! Hey, Aquafresh! Wanna play Foursquare with us? Oh! I guess she's um, gonna run away sure. in fear again. Great! You can wait with Screwball on the bench there! <gasps> on second thought? I, yep. Uh, think I left something on the stove. I thought so. Bye. Wait, Aqua. Seriously, is it my breath? Here, let me smell. <gasps> yep. That's definitely it. Why, Ayana? That's it. It's on, bro. No, it's Screwball. She's afraid of Screwball. I got my mark. I got my mark. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, it's a flower. Is your talent good to me? No. Is your talent decorating? With flowers? No. Is your talent gardening? We already said that, Romeo. Yeah. Again? No. My talent is perfume. Huh? Actually, I have a dash of thing for my cutie mark. M me? When you told me the other day that I smelled nice, I got an idea. You, uh, heard that? Yep. And I'm glad I did. See? That morning, one of Aunt Applejack's pies had fallen on my head, and that's why I had that smell. I figured I could use that smell to make a perfume. Here's a sample. <laughs> hey! What's the big idea? Are you trying to poison me, Apple Blossom? Not really. Huh. Smells good. So, why is mm. the cutie like a flower and not a perfume bottle? Because I made the perfume out of apple blossoms. I like this art style as well. Uh, there's so many good art styles in this. I can share my apple flowery scent with every pony. Congratulations, apple blossom. I mean, you know, you didn't really need to almost kill me over that, but. Snowball? Huh? What? Weren't you listening to my story? Oh, sorry, blossom. Congratulations. Oh, I saw a pre the preview of this. What are you even doing in that there dirt? Doing in the what now? Since when did you become so girly? What do you mean? Uh, screwy. You covered the ground in lovey-dovey hearts. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I, I hadn't even realized.
realized it was... SB plus MB? Ooh, who's MB? No pony. No way. What is it with all these awesome art styles? You're blushing like crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, who is that? He's a cute. What color is his name? Does he like apple? Does he like muffins? Not butter, Dan. She is it cinnamon stick. You girls know we're standing right here, right? So fail. Who is it? Oh, there's Saved by the bell. Pun entirely intended. <laughs> Squeeze it out of her yet, just like an apple during cider season. Which maybe we're just being silly. I mean, if Scribble had a crush, he'd tell us, right? She wouldn't keep secrets from us, right? Are we gonna get a musical number? I'm adding on, boy. Oh, like of course. Okay, I just need to get this off my chest. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, whenever I see Derpy in fan fictions or, or uh, at all, I always think that they're always implemented for fan service. But I'm so like I'm sorry. I swear, they're probably in there for like a reason or something. <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry. I'm talking over the song. Uh, but uh, but uh, like always, uh, they always try to say it. Like find a reason to like uh. I come up come up with a reason as to why Derpy is in this fan fiction but but in reality I always think that the Derpy is there just for fan service reasons like muffins for example the only best example of Derpy being in a story is well muffins where where, uh, where at first it felt like it was kind of fa it felt like it was fan service at first but uh, but later on uh, but later on it turned but actually, it turns out that this derpy is from was from the same. It's the same derpy from the Bubbles fan fiction, uh, which is a, and that's a, and it was a really smart idea for uh, for uh, Ritana to implement uh, that derpy into the into that story. Uh, what? But aside from aside from that one particular story, uh. Uh, there's pre all. I, whenever I see Derpy and fan fictions, all I will say is it. It's here for fan service, uh, because the because all. I, whenever I see Derpy and fan fictions, all I always think the narrator behind at the creator of the fan fictions like. Uh, I think I should. Admit, I think we should add Derpy in here. Uh, I think the because Brody's like Derpy, and that's gonna give me more attention. And then one guy in the comments is like, uh, why is, why is Derpy here? Uh, and then the, narr and the narrator's like, uh, she's here to move along the story. Yeah, and it's totally not here for fan service reasons. Uh, <laughs> totally not here for fan service reasons. Uh, totally not getting attention. No, you get, you're sorry, you're there right now. Uh, I don't think I explained that well. I've stuttered too much. What? What? Miss Cherubin told me when we went to the books for Bella from school yesterday that she hasn't been paying much attention in class. So, nothing new. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was something more serious than that. <laughs> well, probably more than that. I think Scurry's also the one who's been stealing my perfume. We'll be glad it's yours and not some pony else's. <laughs> I'd hate to pay another fine. <laughs> Perfume? I definitely smelled it on you just now. But since when does Scream wear perfume? <laughs> I took it took you a little longer to process that than normal. She has been acting girly lately. I mean, we went bowling yesterday, and when she knocked down all the pins. They jumped back up and stood in the shape of a heart. And when she jumped in the pool, her splash was heart shaped. She's huh? also been making hearts with her food. What is going on with her? What happened to my non kissy, non mushy little girl? Isn't it obvious? What's obvious? I mean, 
I believe our daughter is experiencing her first crush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that means there's a boy? <laughs> Who is he? I'll burn him to a crisp if he thinks he can date my daughter. He thinks he can match against my Calm down, Discord. Yeah. Calm down. Will you get a hold of yourself? Thank you, Flyside. Get that bucket of water anyway. So, Pony has to be prepared for your nervous breakdowns. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Flyerci. I thought exactly. Don't worry about it. This is a good thing. Good thing? Good thing? How can it possibly be a good thing? How can it be good that my little girl is... is... growing up? I'm getting to the bottom of this. Screwball! Oh, <laughs> 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 Who is it? Huh? <laughs> Your mother is under the suspicion that you have a crush. But that's not true, is it? I mean, you tell us if you have a crush, right? After all, why would you want to keep secrets from your old dad? Mm -hmm. uh, is there a boy? No, no, no. You look like you're lying. <laughs> I knew your mother was just pulling my leg. I mean, imagine my daughter getting all mushy over a boy. <laughs> oh, that just so. Well, you, well, you got. Well, then, but then again, you kind of got all mushy when you uh, when you explained your feelings to Flyerside. Wow, what do you call this stuff again? Chocolate donuts. They're amazing. So is pretty yeah. good, but the but the heads are too big. Sure, but well, they don't usually. It's pretty. It's really good. Chocolate seems to be an exception. It tastes like. It looks. A, it looks pretty good. I'll let, okay. Especially Yours for Microsoft nice Paint. I think hmm. this. Look, I'm not sure if this was done in Microsoft Paint. Paint. This looks because it looks Most like it does. Them. But it's a, It looks good, but. Uh, but aside from like but the heads are pretty big, are a little too big. But aside from that, it's pretty good. So the artist who did, does this art style, just make the heads a little bit more smaller, and I think you'll and I think you'll get somewhere. In that case, if we had birthday parties back in the hive, we'd have one every day. <laughs> yeah, Pinkie Pie would have a blast. She's the crazy one, right? You bet your tail she is. She may not be my real aunt, but she's still my favorite. She can turn any bad day around just by being herself. Plus, she gave me this cool hat. This is a propeller. I love this propeller so much. They'll be coming in me. You have such an amazing family, even though most of them aren't even related to you. I don't get it. Aren't there changelings your age for you to play with? Well, sure, but we don't play, we train. And I usually train alone with Mother. We learn how to hunt so we can feed ourselves. I have to. I know why I, I was dancing. Mother says if I'm going to be king, I have to be able to find food for the hive. Does it hurt? You know, when you feed on some pony's love. Well, when we drain them of their love, we drain them of their power. They slowly weaken, but they're not hurt if we're not around them for a while. Maybe we shouldn't be so... Look! A shooting star! Um, what are you doing? If you make a wish on a shooting star, it'll come true. What did you wish for? Silly. You can't tell your wish, or else it won't come true. I fail to see how a star can possess magical wish-granting abilities. You're talking to an Earth pony with chaotic powers. Furthermore, you're a creature that feeds off of love. Fair point. Oh, there's another one. This one's yours. Go on, make a wish. But I don't think... Oh, it's going for himself. I wish I wasn't a changeling, so that I could have a heart. Back 
excellent tiger transformation, son. You are doing very well. I think it might be time for you to move on to the next level of your training. Yeah, sure, Mother. May I go to bed now? You didn't let me finish. Sorry, Mother. Can you make it quick, though? Why the rush, son? I am going really, really sleepy. Uh, good night. Are you really going to bed? Or are you just eager for your rendezvous with your Billy friend? What? Well, what are you talking about, Mother? I'm just really tired. And my clothes are, they feel like they're about to fall off. Which, you know, these holes in my legs aren't exactly making that any better. Cut the charades up. I know where you've been sneaking off to for the past several weeks. Do you really think anything goes on here without my knowledge? I'm prepared for my punishment, Mother. Punishment? Why in Equestria should I punish you for doing exactly as I told you? Well, I know how much you hate it when other ponies make cranks about our Swiss cheese legs and... What? Well, he asked you to find out whatever you could about the half -wing. And you have. You are quite brilliant, my son. That silly Billy doesn't suspect a thing. However, your mission will have to be cut short. What do you mean? As I said, you are doing quite well. The next level of your training will require long and tedious hours, so your little scheme will have to be put on hold. Ooh. What do you mean by next level of training? The spawn of Discord could be more useful than you thought. She could be the key to our success. And you, my son, <coughs> will be the one to turn the key in the lock. I don't understand. There's lesson in your new level of training, son. Breaking off heart. <laughs> when you go to meet your little girlfriend, you are to inform her that you are unable to see her again. But don't just tell her. Break her. Be cruel. Be cruel. Be vicious. You... You want me to... What? It's not gonna happen. Deck, son. Because I've been having to repeat myself over and over. Break the Billy's fragile little heart and enjoy the pleasure you'll get from it. But, 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 I don't want to break her heart! What? I... I don't. This art style looks I, very Lion I, King, I'm just saying. Well, she likes me. Of course she does! That was the whole point of the plan! Her feelings should be just high enough for you to crash. But she, she's so much fun. And she, she's my friend and friend. Oh no, I said the other one. Ugh, mothball. How many times do I have to tell you? We cannot love. I know, but maybe we can. And why should you want to? It only leads to trouble. Am I right, gentlemen? Yes, my queen. Whatever you may feel towards this Billy, your highness, it's best not to pursue it. But if I have no heart, how can I- you don't! And do you know who you have to thank for that? Discord! What? That is why we must have revenge. But you know something? He actually did us a favor. Being heartless has actually helped us. With no love, remorse, nor weakness to hold me back, we children can become all we can be and rise above the acrid races. You wonder why you. Oh, uh, here we go, another song. Why your body's an empty shell. You don't need those useless. He felt love. I mean, he felt love before. I have a feeling that this is all gonna boil up into a problem. Not, not a problem, into the climax. It's best 
you have none at all. Love is for the taking from those who are foolish to fall. And this ceaseless faking is all it will ever bring. Hearts are made for grace. By the way, I actually did see the title of this song before I reacted to this. And I actually thought it was going to be a parody of These Boots Are Made For Walking. I mean, the title says, pretty much says that this is going to be a parody. I mean, that would have been awesome! It didn't seem worthy of love. Leave it to the ponies. So, what is your hurry? Your stomach is once. We can get them back, right? If you knew what having a heart was like, you wouldn't want it. But maybe I can wonder why we're the way we are. A starving, crumbling, struggling nest. It's creatures like them who'd go so far as to rip all the love from our chests. But why would they even love made us like this? <laughs> I like how he keeps how she keeps interrupting him like nah. Uh, like, uh, like, not, I no time for trying to, expl to explain, uh, explain the truth, but we have to save that for the last episode. Uh, on with the song, that rhymed. Is all it will I'm gonna say, with the with the whole distortion in the, the voice actor's voice, it sounds like it, it kind of sounds like she's kind of singing this drug. Drug. Like, I'm sorry. Whenever I hear this like really slow instrumental thing uh, going on, uh, I always think that it. I always assume like. Yeah, this sounds like this song. Blah, blah, blah. Turn the thing down. Yeah, this song kind of sounds like uh, sounds like a song you would play when you would see someone when you would see a drunk person. Uh, yeah, don't mind us. We're just here to uh, improve the song because uh, Chrysalis told us that she was going to sing a song and yeah, we had to step in. That song, it was good. But because of the distortion, eh, and the fact, well, it's because of the distortion that it didn't really reach its full, full potential. I, I can't. The queen gave you an order of your happiness. And you know how that she gets she doesn't And not to mention the song, and, and I'm just saying, like the song, it dragged on, in my opinion, for way uh, too long than it should have. Like in my opinion, it was it should have it was a little. Dead, blah, blah. I think my idea that the fact that the, that it should have been uh, a, t a parody of these boots are made for walking a little a lot more better. I mean that. I mean if that was the case, then that would be freaking awesome. Well, that's just my opinion. And now that I and now that I've mentioned that, there's probably gonna be a there's probably gonna be a parody of that out there out. In a few months. Hey, what gives? 
think he's gonna do it? He has It's not gonna do it. He can't violate the direct order from home. Even if he does, we'll know. Mommy. We can't play volleyball tonight, screwball. Oh. Well, okay. We can play something else if you'd like. <laughs> How about basketball? No, screwy. I see it. I I I can't play with you anymore. What? Why? I... I... I don't want to play with you anymore. You... You've gotten boring. Oh. Mati, what's going on? Why are you lying to me? I, uh, I'm not lying. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's right, you can... I mean, I'm not lying. I've grown tired of you. It was fun for a while, but then it became dull. And to think I risked getting into trouble for you, you're lucky no one's caught me. <laughs> I just realized what he was doing. He was, he was making fun of his, of his mother and her over-the-top persona. Everywhere, and they don't know a thing about this. Oh! Well, fine! Maybe I'm tired of you too! If those two changelings so? actually believe that, if actually so believe this, then I'm just here to say. Jesus Christ, two changelings are the stupidest things ever! I mean, I know you guys are bugs, but you have to get guys led to that. You have to at least be smart. Well, you weren't my friend either! I just like disobeying my parents! Because it's fun to be a disobedient child! After all, how can I be friends with a heartless monster? Oh. Okay then. Wow, they actually believe this. You guys are the stupidest things ever. What's. <laughs> You're lying. Yep, he's lying. Ah, it's over already! Uh, that was awesome. So that was Bride of Discord Episode 3, a particular play date. So, what are my thoughts on it? It's definitely a, yeah, a great uh, great episode, and a really great way to flesh out uh, both Screwball and Mothball's character. <sighs> Uh, and what else can I uh, say say about it? Uh, and not to mention, some of the art styles in this were re were really a pr were really good to look look at, eh? and the and the people who did it they, they re really did a pretty good job. And I'm sorry if I couldn't really if I spoke over the songs. Like to me, the songs were they were all right. Eh? Like I really hate to criticize these songs. Like. Eh? Like, I can imagine these songs must have took hours and hours to make. And I really hate to, to, criticize, these so to criticize these songs. <laughs> but it's just my opinion. The first, the first song, which I forgot the title of it was, it, it was a little, it, it was a little tone-deaf because it was kids. Uh, and, not to men and not to mention, it didn't really ha have a catchy j jingle to it. It didn't really have a catchy rhythm. Rhythm to it. I mean, at least with some of the song. I mean, at least with some of the song. I mean, at least with the Discord song, uh, song Chaos of the Night. At, at least with that one. Eh, that one. It had a very. It had a very memorable. Blah, blah, blah. It was very memorable, and it was a very, very memorable and a great Discord song. These songs, on the other hand, they just they don't really feel memorable. And the this song doesn't, or this song doesn't feel memorable, and. And the and the other one, these hearts are made for breaking, eh. or hearts are made for breaking, or whatever it's called. Eh. It, like I said before, it's uh, the the sa the singing voice is completely ruined by the voice effects, and and not to mention it goes on for way too long. Eh. And and I think and I honestly think it would have been a lot more better if they if they. If they uh, if they did, um, 
if they did a parody of these boots are made for walking, which would which would have been a lot more awesome. <laughs> At least in my opinion. But hey, the one thing thing I can say is that about the one thing I think I could say about the first song is that it did give us some pr some pretty uh, some pretty colorful visuals. And for the fir and for the last song, like even though even though it was kind of ruined by the distorted voice, I can kind of see what they were trying to do. <laughs> and to, and to the what they were trying to do, they were trying to uh, or do like an old Disney fan, uh, uh, like a dis not Disney fan, a dis a classic Disney villain song, even the and they somewhat did did a good job despite the fact uh, the fact that the voice effects kind of ru kind of ruined the song. So yeah, even though I don't really like these songs, I can at least have something positive to say about about them. <laughs> but overall, this episode it was really really good. And oh, I forgot, I almost forgot to, to mention the whole Romeo and Juliet thing. The, like the whole thing, uh, the, like obviously the as like I don't know. That. Like as you can tell, like the like in the like the story is obviously based on on Romeo and Ju Juliet, but uh, but the thing is, uh, thing is that like uh, like oh, like in the original story, the uh, story the the two lovers and ended up kill killing themselves because they couldn't be with each other, and the and the rival tribes kept feuding with each other, and they just refused any love at all. Where whereas in the whereas in the modern adaptations of uh, of uh, the Romeo and Juliet story, they, they it actually does it does have a happy ending, and they actually do end up getting together. And I really, really hope that it that it does the modern app ending instead of the classic ending, because if they if they end up if Screwball and Mothball end up killing themselves at the end, then I'm gonna cry, and that's not a joke. I will legitimately cry because I really, really want to see these two get together. And like and fall get together and fall in love and become and live happily ever after and all that stuff. <laughs> it's a say and I'm can fact and I can find and I can actually and I can find give that uh warm fuzzy feeling that it gave me on uh, the episode on episode ten of Friend of Discord uh the uh the confession. I I absolutely loved how how the how both of them took turns at confessing love for each other. It, in it, blah, blah, blah. it was that, it was what, like, I'm just saying, Disney fanatic, I was just stop saying, I'm just saying, uh, but, like, Disney fanatic, he, she did a really good job at that scene, and it, it really, really w warmed my heart it, to see these two characters who, who have gone through so much conflict throughout the whole episode, finally express their feelings and confess their love for one another and it was really really heartwarming to see them get married and ha live happily ever after that's the same thing I want to happen here though I though since this is kind of uh, though I did since this is kind of doing the same thing like like the some taking elements from Do bride of discard I was I'm assuming that thing that around episode nine or eight, uh, that, that happens. That around episode nine, things are gonna go, are gonna get real, and I'm probably get, and I'm probably gonna have the same, do the same thing like, or do the same thing like Alex I did, where he just like completely flip, or where I just like completely flip out and I just like focus all my hatred towards Chrysalis if Chrysalis ends up, eh, if Chrysalis ends up being like eh, the main character, I, eh, I end up. Eh, I have hating in that scenario, which is, uh, which would be, which wouldn't be surprising, considering that I kind, I'm kind of already, uh, that I kind of, blah, blah, that I'm kind of already feeling resentment towards Chrysalis at this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling it. I'm gonna flip out on episode nine. I'm calling, or the climax. I'm call, I'm calling it, and. Uh, <laughs> And when I and when episode nine does re eventually come out, I'm gonna look back on this uh, reaction video and be like, "Oh, I was totally right." I and and flip out. I did. I really did flip out. 
I'm just saying, that's what that's probably what's gonna happen. I really need to stop stuttering. I I should really uh use this ball this earth ball a lot more. Yeah. But overall, my thoughts in this episode are well it's a good it's a good episode and it really does and it does a good job of fleshing out of exp of fleshing out the dynamic between uh, between Mothball and Screwball. However, the song however the songs while I could see that what they were trying to go for and they somewhat succeeded. In, like, in my eyes they they in my eyes the first song was a little tone deaf. It was a little tone deaf and the and in the first and in the next song, the song Okay, great great well, had great singing, but Chrysalis's voice was kind of ruined because uh, because of the voice effects. <laughs> and yet, but aside from but aside from that, but aside from those two so all right songs, this is a this was a really great great episode. And I hope and I and honestly, I can't wait to see where 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 the relationship between Mothball and Screwball will will go next will go next. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's gonna end like the original story or like the modern adaptations. Either way, either way, I don't know. But that, but anyway, this has been Eccentric Game Olga and Daughter of Discord episode three. Uh, uh, pff, our particular play date. Stay smiling, Ardeon, and peace. <laughs> this is gonna hold on. Sorry. High, raging flow, dying same from the face, honey, no. This song rocks. Oh, the battle.